If you're in El Paso right now, you're leading a march to the nearby town of Tornillo, where a, a new tent structure uh, for these children has just opened. Officials say 360 children are already there. Um, what can you tell us about these kids? Have they all been separated from their parents under this new practice, or did any of them come here unaccompanied? What we're told by Health and Human Services uh, under, under whose custody they are kept, it's a mix of kids who've made that 2,000 mile journey on their own and kids who made that 2,000 mile journey with their parents. And at the moment that they finally thought they had reached safety, refuge, were gonna petition for asylum, they were taken from their parents and are now in Tornillo with no idea when or if they will see their mothers or their fathers on this Father's Day again. Uh, President Trump has been repeatedly lying, blaming this policy on Democrats. It's obviously uh, based on this new uh, practice by Attorney General Jeff Sessions. Take a listen to Sessions defending this zero tolerance uh, practice, which has resulted in hundreds, if not thousands, of children being separated from their parents since April. If people don't want to be separated from their children, they should not bring them with them. That's, we've got to get this message out. It's legitimate to warn people who come to the country unlawfully, uh, bringing children with them, that they uh, can't uh, expect that they'll always be kept together. Now, Sessions and the Justice Department say they're doing this because uh, they need to stop this undocumented immigration crisis at the border. Um, what do you say to that argument, that this is all about deterrence and stopping people from coming into the country illegally? You know, I really feel actually for the Border Patrol agents who are meeting these refugees and asylum seekers at their most desperate moment, at their most vulnerable. We're asking those men and women of the Border Patrol to solve international problems, to solve our country's problems at our border with Mexico. Things have to be really bad for you to leave Honduras, travel 2,000 miles, if you're lucky, on top of, not inside of a train known as the Beast or La Bestia, with your child, to, to, to literally take your and your child's life into your own hands and hope that you'll make it here. Once you get here, to try to request asylum only to find that your child will be taken from you. This is inhumane. I'd like to say it's un-American, but it's happening right now in America. And it is on all of us, not just the Trump administration. This is on all of us. And that's why we're marching to Tornillo today. Uh, to bear witness, to shed light on this, to make sure everyone in America knows that this is going on. I hope to produce um, the outrage and the public pressure to force those in power to do the right thing. I'm working on legislation with my colleagues to end the practice of family separation. It will be introduced this coming week. And I need Republicans and Democrats alike to join us to make sure that is America and that we make sure that those who petition for asylum, we hear their case. If they can meet the credible fear test that their country cannot take care of them and prevent them from being killed or harmed, there is a legal process for them here to reside. If they cannot, we will return them to their country of origin. So there's a way to do this, the right way to do this. And I want this country to do that at this critical moment. We will be judged for what we do or what we fail to do now. This is not just on the Trump administration. This is on all of us. Congressman, uh, as you know, Jeff Sessions uh, has been raising the bar when it comes to asylum seekers, uh, saying that domestic violence and the threat of gang violence uh, should not any longer be enough to allow somebody asylum. Would your legislation uh, discuss that at all? I want to make sure that, yes, I want to make sure that every uh, person fleeing uh, terror, fleeing violence, fleeing death. I, I met a 27-year-old mom who had fled from Honduras with her seven-year-old daughter at the McAllen Border Patrol Station. Uh, they had made that 2,000-mile journey. They had just been apprehended by a Border Patrol agent that they turned themselves into. Um, she, through tears in that, in that cell in that Border Patrol Station, uh, told me that she crossed in between ports of entry. Uh, and crossed towards that Border Patrol agent because she didn't know where else to cross. She said that she was afraid, tenía miedo, and didn't know what else to do. I want to make sure that that mother who might be fleeing domestic violence, uh, whose daughter or son might be pressed into service for a ruthless gang or cartel, has the ability to petition for asylum lawfully and legally here in the United States. Um, that is this country at our best. Yeah. That is our law right now as I read it. 
Uh, and, and certainly, um, mm -hmm. the eyes of the world, our kids, our conscience, and history will judge us based on how we treat that woman. Within hours of meeting her, her seven-year-old daughter was going to be taken from her. And I cannot imagine the trauma that mother and child felt at that moment. We got to make sure that we do not continue to inflict that. Already 2,000 kids in the last 45 right. days have been taken from their parents. We've got to put an end to this. Congressman, here's what the president tweeted earlier this week. Quote, the Democrats are forcing the breakup of families at the border with their horrible and cruel legislative agenda. Any immigration bill must have full funding for the wall and catch and release, visa lottery and chain and go to merit-based immigration. Go for it. Win, unquote. I understand uh, this practice didn't come, come about because of a democratic law, but you're in the minority in the House and the Senate and you don't control the White House. Don't you have to accept some compromises here if you want to make changes, including, for instance, funding the president's border wall? I think this one's going to be on the American people. And I think when we make the choice clear that we can do the right thing uh, by this country and for those kids and not do it at the price of a 2,000 mile, 30 foot high, $30 billion wall, uh, not doing it at the price of deporting people who are seeking asylum, deporting people in some cases back to certain death. Um, not do it at the cost of ending family migration, which is the story of this country, certainly of the O'Rourke's and millions of families who have fled uh, terror or starvation in their countries to be here. Uh, I think the American people are going to force us to do the right thing. That always happens in America. Mm -hmm. It's frustrating. It's slow. It doesn't happen right away. But ultimately, we get it right. And I'm confident that the American people this time are going to get it right. All right, Congressman Beto O'Rourke in Texas, thank you so much, sir. Appreciate your time. Happy Father's Day. To you as well, sir.